your right is here. So um, we're going to assume that you have read over the problem statement, which is located in train.usaco.org. So the problem is basically asking us to find if the two UFOs should go or stay. So each UFO is defined by a string, which is which could be any string in the length of six. And then for the string, we're supposed to calculate the hash of it, which is defined by multiplying the characters together. So for USA, for um, whoops, USACL, the U would be represented as twenty one. The S would be represented as 19, A would be 1, C would be 3, and O would be 15. So we multiply these together, you would get 17955, which then to calculate the hash, we just mod it by 47. Now, so if the hash of the strings are the same, we just output go, and if they aren't, we output stay. So let's get to coding. So you would just include your your files. And since you're reading from you're reading from write from in and outputting from write from write to out, you can just use if stream and of stream to redirect your output. So you could get if stream Now, so we have two strings, so we can go like string A and B. So to read them, you would just do C and A, B. So now we want to compare the hashes. So let's give the first one hash one, hash one, hash two. So let's make our function to calculate the hash. So we would return an integer and our input would be a string since um since we're given the string of the ufos so so basically we would just loop through all the characters and just multiply them together so you would have like our results it would be equal to one so when you could go each character your each character in your string and then your result would be equal to your original result multiplied by the character minus a plus one. And since this is basically the ID of each character, so, um, but one more thing. So you have to mod it by 47 because it's given by the problem statement that the ID is equal to the, the product divided by, or, or mod, 47. So then you would add this part. So for a function, you just need to return the result. So then your hash one would be equal to your hash of the first UFO, and your second one would be equal to your hash of your second UFO. So then if they are equal, then you would, then you would print go or else you would just print stay. Yeah, so thank you everyone. Tune in later.